Ready, set. We're ready to go for day five. Gross is this? Let's get out of here. Having a little break. This is my lunch. Rice cracker, peanut butter with a blueberries on top. Delicious. I'm sat in the sun when the sun is out. Gemma is sat in the shade. And we're gonna have a long, leisurely, relaxing time before we set off into the distance. Gemma is very happy with her ice cream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was getting ice cream envy. Everyone's got an ice cream. <laughs> of cow. I don't even want to look at them. So aiming for that post and then we'll go back up that way. Then we can, because they're right on the path. And then we can just ignore them. Let's pretend they just don't even exist. <laughs> just walked all the way from down the valley around here we're going to continue on down here but check this out and we're going to go up that way and through the forest we are now crossing over the Pennine Way because we found a little sign so Pennine Way and then it carries on down here as well which is awesome so we're crossing across the UK from east to west and the Pennine right way runs north to south or south to north. I will be doing the Pennine way at some point in the future and so it would just be amazing to come back to this point. So we just hiked up what I said to Jen was like it looks like an old like roller coaster uh, track but it's actually like an old mine cart track and if you were doing the Pennine way then you'd then be heading up this way 
but we are continuing down this way. We are heading to a little town called Keld. Gemma has gone for some tea cakes. I've gone for a pack of wine gums. This is the best pack of wine gums I think I've ever opened. Look at all the strawberry flavors. All strawberry apart from two orange. How good is that? And Sarah's never been so thrilled. Yeah. It's the little things that make you happy. They didn't have any gluten-free stuff. So that's why I'm having wine gums. But I've just found out as well, Snickers are wheat free. Very exciting day for me. Do it. We are officially at the halfway point of the book. Halfway point in the book. We've got a little uh, toilet block and then drinking water. <laughs> Now I've got a nice 25% incline. We are going up, 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 zig, 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 zag. Just avoiding the mud. Oh, a little bit slippy. This is a Shetland pony. Not my Shetland pony, but a Shetland pony. Aren't you gorgeous? Okay. Super. Ooh! Look at this horse through here. There's that big one. It's not a Shetland pony. Wow! He's a beast. You want to come and say hello to me as well? And then we walked here and there's another horse. Like, how awesome is this? But we're getting distracted by the horses and we've still got quite a few miles to go. So we need to get walking. Oh, they're so cute. So cute. We're now in midgy hell. Like, they're just frigging everywhere. The tents aren't drying, the sun's gone away. And, oh, oh my... Oh, no, look what's coming. What? Is that the sun again? Oh, my God, why are you doing this to me, sun? Oh, the midgies. We've just spayed midgy spray as well. Okay. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Is it going to dry? Is it going to dry? Or do we stay in midgy hell and get dry tents? I don't know. We suffered for a little bit longer, but we got the tents dry, mostly. They're 98% dry. Then the sun started to go away and the midges were just too much. So we also moved down the road a little bit more and it got a little bit better. But we are carrying on. Oh, so where we are at the moment, there's currently three routes that you can take. There is the blue route, the red route, and the green route. If you take the blue route, which is what you're meant to take during the summer months, you end up going through a valley, which is going to be very, very boggy, very, very wet and full of midges. Therefore, because we looked at a weather map, we made an informed decision that we will not be doing the blue route today. We have decided to go on the red route, which is going to take us this way. But that's the post there, we're dividing it, red, blue, green green and red follow this path um for quite a while together before they split off again we pass loads of people who are all like are you doing the bog route are you doing the boggy route and we're like no <laughs> i've done enough bogs to last a lifetime i don't need to do any more bogs thank you very much we're on the red and green route at the moment which is not to say that it is not boggy because it is a little boggy there is some damp sections Goodness knows what the blue route is going to be like at this time. Feet are going to get wet. We're basically just going to follow this scale because it's not really like a marked path or anything. Um, the whole way up. And then we've got some grouse butts and a shooting butt, so we should be able to kind of see those. And then it's another kilometre-ish after that where we're going to turn off. So for now, like we just stay down here and keep following this little bit of water. It's bog, 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 bog. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is disgusting. <laughs> Look at my shoes. Look at this colour. We've got about a mile more of this to go before we make the decision if we continue on the green route or the red route. These are grouse butts, which are used for shooting. So there's like a whole host of them. There's one there, one here, one up there, one up there. So basically tracking along with the grass butts, going steadily uphill. So we're still 
in the Yorkshire Dales, but we've just come down from the boggy section and joined up with the road for a little bit of road walking. I can leap yeah. there. I think it's solid and then if you can jump it though. I think I can jump that. Well, this could be a nightmare. No, I've got this. I've got this. I can do this. Oh fuck. <laughs> I was like, no, I haven't got this. No, I've got this. I've got this. I've got this. <laughs> so, sort of got this. <laughs> oh, bit of an adrenaline rush. Um anyway, we are heading up to that rocks up there. And then we're gonna turn down the valley to Kirby Stevens. We've made it to the rocky structure. Oh, but these views are incredible. Robin Hood Bay, we've walked 108 miles and we have got 82 miles to go to get to St. Bees. We're just gonna cross over this cute little bridge. I believe this is called Frank's Bridge. And this is gonna take us into the town of Kirby Stevens where we are staying tonight. And that is where we are staying. The black bull right there. Ooh. And this is it, team. 22.6 miles. It's been a big day. Big day. Big, big, big day. 